we're going to take a look at the DAB plugin for STR Uno. We'll talk about plugins and introduce DAB and then demonstrate the plugin. Plugins started with version 1.4 of STR Uno and we provided three examples which are demonstrators. They're not part of the core STR Uno software and the DAB plugin is one of these. So what plugins do is allow third party applications to access SDR UNO controls. These third party programs can interact seamlessly with the SDR UNO core software. They're not part of the core offering, so some plugins may be more stable than others, but they are totally separate from the main SDR UNO program. You can see sdrplay.com slash plugins to keep up to date as new plugins become available. With version 1.4, when you run the plugin installer, you'll see some additional information about a specific audio recorder codec that is needed for the more recent DAB Plus standard. If you're unsure how to do this, you can go to your Windows Start menu and go to the DAB plugin help file. DAB is Digital Audio Broadcasting and it's available in several countries around the world, not in the USA, and it occupies uh, the band 3 upper VHF bands from 174 MHz upwards. Uh, there's some 41 of these ensembles or multiplexes, sometimes called blocks, and each of those can carry a number of channels. Some channels use the older MP2 format, and those are the regular DAB channels, but there's also the DAB Plus channels that use a more efficient uh, codec, and that's the one that needs the uh, special, uh, special codec downloading. Well, the DAB plugin has very close interaction with SDR Uno, taking the IQ data in and providing the audio out through the volume controls and mute functions within SDR Uno. There's a scanning facility to populate the channels with signals and it stores a channel list. It allows a single block to be scanned should you want that and all the found channels are stored in a scan list text file that can be edited. On the main plugin display that you see here there's additional information presented like the multiplex name, more transmitter information and below you can see uh, the text being broadcast by the particular channel. You can access your scanlist.txt file by going to the options menu within the SDR Uno main panel and opening up the data directory in Explorer. The scanlist.txt file has a single line for each of the stations in the channel list. And you can remove weaker channels. You might want to um, remove unwanted channels or change the channel list order. If you edit this file, make sure you only remove whole lines at a time. A future upgrade may not be backward compatible, but we would always warn you if that's the case. So to start the demo, go to DAB, click on load plugins and up will pop the DAD plugin panel. Make sure that you're already running SDR Uno, if not, press play. And just a note here, which we'll cover in the demo, uh, you may need to go back and adjust the RF gain. Typically, you'd want it fairly high, but uh, excessive uh, signals can cause uh, some issues. And a future update may address that, but um, so there's a little bit of experimentation needed. Then finally, you press full scan and the scanning begins. So I've got SDR Uno already running. I'm going to select uh, the DAB plugin and I'm also going to select the audio recorder. By holding the control key, I can highlight both these plugins and load them both at the same time. You can see that DAB plugin panel has appeared here and you'll notice that the channel box is empty at this point because this is the first time that I'm doing a scan. So let's set the scan going by pressing full scan. 
The whole process takes uh, about three minutes to scan all the way from 174 megahertz right up to 240 megahertz. And there's a progress bar along the bottom here. And as it finds channels, they will appear in the box here. Ah, it's now first found its first uh, set of uh, seven channels. That's after about a minute and a half, and now it's uh, up to 15. So the scan's complete, and you'll see it now says full scan, and we found 69 channels. And if you scroll down the channel list, you can see there's a mixture of DAB and DAB plus uh, channels have been found. As I mentioned earlier, it's important to make sure you've got the uh, advanced codec loaded that's needed for DAB plus decoding. And if, uh, if you haven't already done that, that can be found just by going to your start menu. And then amongst the SDR play programs, you'll see DAB plugin help. This is where the documentation is for the DAB plugin. So in the documentation, as well as instructions on using this plugin, you'll find all the information you need for downloading the freeware advanced audio decoder. You'll notice I've been on mute. So if I now unmute the audio, we can select initially a DAB station Wooden rocking chair. Hello. For each channel, there's additional information at the side. Here's the multiplexer. You can see the uh, transmitter information. And below, you can see the uh, RDS text relating to the channel. You'll also see the signal to noise ratio displayed. Here we've got 18 dBs, which is a, a good, healthy SNR. You'll find that DAB stations typically need at least uh, eight or nine uh, dBs of SNR, and the DAB plus stations are a little bit more. And here's an example of a, a DAB plus station. To edit the channel list, go to Options and then Open Data Directory in Explorer. And you'll see here that you have a file called the Scan List. And each channel has its own entry here, which can be deleted or moved around to arrange things as you want them. I mentioned the RF gain setting because in extreme strong signal localities uh, it may be necessary to back this off in order to uh, decode uh, the stations. Uh, we have to automate that in a, a future version, but uh, so there may be a little bit of trial and error. Uh, certainly where I am in central UK, I um, have to back it off a little bit and uh, it works pretty well. Um, I'd like to just show uh, a neat feature now with the audio recorder. So if we just open up, quite strong recommendations uh, for how you could make it clear, which I hope the audio they channel. I There's strongly a, believe that any trade deal that we do must have. We simply press that, that, start recording the on the if audio recording able plugin. To use, uh, goods to high welfare standards and high environmental standards abroad, good on them, but that protect the environment and animal welfare, absolutely. To play back the recording, you'll notice I had it just in my documents folder. So we simply open up uh, my documents folder. Act 
our farmers, if people are able to produce uh, goods to high welfare standards and high environmental standards abroad, good on them, but that protect the environment. And so that's a nice demonstration of two plugins working together. The DAB plugin uh, with its audio piped through SDR Uno and then back out to another plugin, which is in this case a simple audio recorder function. So I hope you can have a lot of fun with the DAB plugin. It's a, a very versatile piece of software. It is work in progress um, and any instabilities are no reflection on the stability of the core SDR Uno uh, version 1.4. Um, as I say, the features that are demonstrated in the uh, three pl plugins that uh, we've initially provided with version 1.4 um, are really just uh, showcasing the kind of capabilities that uh, exist. So keep an eye on the plugins page on our website for news of more third party plugins in the future. Thanks for watching.